What's going on, Dylan Tubi, Progressive Soccer. Thank you for watching this video. I'm calling this Eight Secrets I Wish All Footballers Knew. And if you're looking for some cool new tricks to show off on the field, this video is not for you. We're not even gonna see a ball. You're not even gonna see any green grass. This is all classroom. This is all life lessons I've learned playing this game. This is valuable information, real talk, that I want you to take to improve your rate of development, become faster, way better, to have way more success in this game, but also improve the quality of your life, be a happier, more successful person. So if that appeals to you in any way, I want you to keep watching this video, but I need real players with real vision who wanna see real results. If you want tricks and flicks, this video is not for you, this channel is not for you, you need to go somewhere else. But if you're really serious about your future and you're willing to sit and listen to my experience, listen to my knowledge, and actually take that information and apply it, then this video is for you and let's get into it right now. And it's so important that you take this information, you actually apply it. How many times have you read a book or watched a video and you're like, wow, that's some great information. I need to start doing that. And then you look back in two months or even two weeks and you're like, you know what? I didn't do anything that I said I was going to do. So implementation is so important. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge plus action, knowledge put into action. Now that's real power. So let's go through these eight secrets. They're eight principles that transcend football. They're gonna help you, yes, in football, but they're gonna help you in every single area of your life. And number one, I need you to know this, it is possible. What does, what does that mean? What do I mean by that? It is possible. What do you wanna achieve? Well, most players, they either wanna sign a professional contract, they wanna earn a college scholarship, they wanna play for a higher level team. And whatever else you wanna achieve in this game, I want you to know that it is possible. If someone else did it, you can do it. And I need you to look at that at a very basic level. If someone else can do it, if someone else is currently doing this, why can't I do it? You look at these professional players or someone who earned a college scholarship, do they have two feet? Do they have two legs, two arms, a head and a heart? Do you possess those tools? Well, if they can do it, why can't you? Now, do certain um, circumstances make it harder for someone else to achieve that goal than another? Yes, 100%. Your, the location that you live in, the country that you live in, your nationality, um, your financial situation, these all have an influence on your ability to make it. Now, does that mean it's impossible? No. Okay, look at your country. How many players from your country have gone on to become professional? Or how many people in your city, your friends even, are earning college scholarships or doing the things that you want to do, okay? Just because it's harder doesn't mean it's impossible. But you complaining about your financial situation, you complaining that nobody supports you with your dreams, you complaining about the country that you live in, that's not gonna help you achieve your goal. Is it the reality? Yes. Does it make it harder? Yes. But complaining about it, it doesn't help. Okay, so just understand the system, understand the obstacles, and work around it. Use it as motivation. But it is possible. Now, going forward, if you want to make it possible, I need you to understand that chances are not given. Chances are created. No one's going to come to you just because you're good enough and say, hey, here's a contract. You get to play for Manchester United right now. It doesn't work like that. No one's coming to find you in the park. You have to go out there and create your own chances. So stop waiting for someone to come and find you and start putting yourself in the situations where you can be found. I hope that makes sense. Do not sit around waiting for things to happen. You have to go out and make things happen. So if we're talking specifically, I wanna give you a few like actionable tips. If we're talking specifically about becoming a professional player, I don't just sit around and think that I'm good enough and someone's gonna come and find me, okay? I need to take action. I need to look at my contacts. Do I know anyone in my city? Do I know anyone in my family? Do I know anyone in my friend circle? Do I know anyone in the football community that has gone on to achieve the goals that I want to achieve? How did they do it? Take the steps backwards, see where they are and ask, okay, where did they start and what steps did they take to get there? And do I know any contacts that can help me do the same thing? Can you get yourself an agent? Now, in order to do that, you need a video, highlight video, you need a, 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 a sweet, short and sweet resume, a CV, whatever you wanna call it. You need to have a piece of information, whether it's digital or physical, that shows who you are. Just because you contact someone and say, hey, I'm a good player, they do not care. You need to prove it with your resume, with your highlight video. You need to go to combines, you need to go to open tryouts. 
Does it cost money? Yes, but is it better than sitting at home thinking that someone's gonna come find you? 100%. A combine might be a collection of, let's say like 30 players, but there's also 10 coaches there from different from 10 different clubs looking for players in specific situations. An open tryout might just be one team hosting an open tryout. They might not take anyone from that tryout. They might take one player out of uh, 500. But is it better than sitting at home saying, oh, that'll never work, or that's a waste of time, that's a waste of money, it's experience, it's putting yourself in the right situations, it's the, the opportunity to network and to make connections, but the bottom line, if you want to play professional or you want to have a college scholarship, even want to play on a higher level team, don't just sit there expecting the chances to come to you, chances are not given, chances are created, you create your own chances by taking action. Few players make it in this game, Hey, there's millions of players around the world who want to become a professional. What makes you any different than them? It should start with here. Your mentality should make should be the difference for you. That's what needs to get you started. But number one, never stop improving. If you're of the mindset where, oh, I'm good enough to play at that level, you're not. I'm telling you right now, I need to slap you in the face through this, through this uh, video camera, through this TV screen, whatever you're watching on. And I need you to wake up. If you think you're good enough, you're not. The best players in the world know that they're still not good enough. That's why they're so good. They never stop improving. They're always identifying weaknesses. They're always focusing on things that they can improve. Never stop improving. The game is so much more fun when every time you step on the field, you're better than you were last week. So if you're of the mindset of I'm good enough, you need to stop that. You're never good enough. It's okay to be happy about your accomplishments. It's okay to have self-esteem and confidence in your ability. But the best players, and you wanna be one of the best players, know that they're never good enough. Good enough is not a word that they use. It's not a phrase that they use. Never stop improving. Keep taking action. Do not give up. You may need to get 100 no's before you get one yes. And if you're gonna let those no's discourage you and make you quit, then you're never going to make it. It's not possible for you because you're weak-minded. Okay, you have to understand the no is part of it. And no doesn't mean never. No means not yet. No means you're not good enough yet. If you go to a tryout and you get cut, that doesn't mean you'll never be good enough. If you quit, you'll never be good enough. That means just right now, currently, you're not good enough. Do you have the ability to improve? Yes, it is possible. Number one, it is possible. It's impossible for you to achieve, or sorry, it is possible for you to achieve. It's possible for you to improve. So no doesn't mean never, it means not yet. It means keep working, it means keep taking action, it means keep learning, it means keep failing, failing your way forward, keep getting shut down, so one day you get that yes. Because in the end, really all you need is one yes, and that gets your foot in the door, and then you got that opportunity. You, treat, you created that chance yourself by taking action. But bottom line, it's not about the goals that you achieve. It's about who you become in pursuit of those goals. And what I mean by that is like, let's say, because I know it's a scary thing to say, oh, I'm gonna try to be a professional, but what if it doesn't work out? Well, guess what? If it doesn't work out, you're not gonna regret trying. I promise you that. Because you will become such a stronger person, mentally, such a better person, of the because of the chances that you took because of the opportunities that you seeked the situations you put yourself in you kept trying to improve you built resilience you built persistence you built discipline you built all these life skills you you networked you met people you went to new places you had great experiences you will not regret trying even if you failed at the end of our lives what do they say the only things they regret are the things they didn't do that the things they didn't try to do so i promise you if you work for it and you put all this energy and effort into it and it doesn't work out, you will not regret it. You will be happy that you did it because it made you a better person at the end of the day. So I guess I have to address like, if I know all this information, why am I not a professional? I did I did have a college scholarship. I do have, uh, I did play for the Canadian national futsal team. I got two caps, it was a cool experience, really random, but that happened. And I've always played on high level teams, so I've achieved those, but I never became a professional. So if I know all this information, how come I'm not a pro? Well, the truth is, I did not know this information when I was younger. I wish I did. This is why I'm making this video right now, to share this information with the youth, to share this information with people who are passionate. And even if I picked up this information while I was younger, in my early 20s, and knew what I knew now, then I could have done it. Also, some life experience, I had kids very young, I, I had uh, businesses and my life was good. It's not like I had a bad life. I was very happy in the life that I was living. So that's kind of where I was at. But bottom line, 
when I was 16, basically they fed into our minds. We were getting misinformed that if you're not a professional by 16, if you're not in Europe by 16, you might as well give up. That's what they said. That was the message in our heads. And we believed it. But I need you to know that it is possible. And even if you're not a pro at 16, you can still become one by 21, even by 23. Now, the longer you wait, the harder it gets. Yes, 100%. But just because you don't make it at 16 doesn't mean it's over. It means keep trying. It means, it means keep learning. And guess what? Playing professional doesn't mean that you play for Barcelona. It means you can play in Lithuania, Division Three, and still get your life paid for. Still get your living paid for through the game of football. How awesome is that? Okay, so there's different levels of professional and the life experiences that come through pursuing your goals, that's the most valuable thing. Let's move on. Sorry, one more thing. I wanna give you actionable steps. So with this, and you can pause this video right now if you need to, number one, I need you to set a goal. So set a long-term goal. If you wanna break it down to those three, maybe you wanna play pro, maybe you wanna earn a college scholarship, maybe you just wanna make a higher level team in your city. What's your long-term goal? I'm talking about the big one, the big one that would really make you happy if you achieved it. Be realistic. And it's okay if you don't want to be a pro. If you just want to play in your local city and be the man, be the woman in your local city, that's a cool goal as well. We all have different goals and we all have different realities. Not all of us are meant to play professional football. Some of us only have the ability to play at a certain level. But that doesn't mean that we stop improving and stop pursuing and stop challenging ourselves. So I want you to make one long-term goal and I want you to make one short-term goal for this season. So maybe that can be I want to score 10 goals or I want to go to this tryout and I want to make this team. I want to I want to play I want to play <laughs> every single game this season without getting injured. Something like that. Make a short-term goal for this season. So one long-term goal, one short-term goal. You can pause it right now and write those down or we can move forward. Number 2, I need you to know. I need you to know all these things. But seriously, number 2.